All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another history of video so Today we are gonna be grinding and hopefully going for a compass piece preferably the Elton uh, Yesterday we were grinding and we got our eighth piece and guess what? It's another vodkin surprise but anyway with that said just want to do another hour and uh, Chat with you guys. So before we start uh, check the birthday code above for PC, NA, and EU. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, check out the video we did yesterday. And it was pretty exciting. It was a weekly montage. So yeah, I thought some cool stuff happened. And let me see. I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of things. Every time I grind, it's like nine different things to turn on. Uh, okay. <laughs> this potion. Scroll. Uh, feel like I'm forgetting a lot of things. Oh yeah, let's use this thingy. All right. Food. Good, I think. Ant buff on. Do I have gear on? That's good. That's important. Oh god, what crystals? I have life skill crystals on. Ugh, I wish it was easier to swap them. Like, I didn't have to go through the black spirit to do it. I could definitely tell the clear speed. Oh my god, it doesn't even... Okay. Okay, cool. Should be good now. Yeah, there we go. I noticed a clear speed difference. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Just wanted to do a chill video today. And you know what's funny? We have an event on right now that's like, in theory, double chance of getting various boss loot, right? So for everyone who needs a Garmoth's heart, Bell's heart, all those things. The one I need is these bloodlit tears from the blood spawn Nuver. And there's been like 15, maybe more Nuvers since they started the event. And guess what? There's only been like three blood spawn Nuvers, maybe two. I don't actually know. Maybe three. And I was able to get one of those three. Because Nuver, at least on the NA server, spawns at like the most ridiculous times. It's either like you have to be up super early or late, really late. So yeah, me actually getting Nuver is very difficult. And sometimes I'm lucky, like it spawns at those times. It's not even the blood spawn so yeah there's another one that's spawning in about an hour we're gonna be up for that one and uh i just i think for february one of our goals is going to be to get the nuverkin outfit and it's not really that I want the outfit. Like, I don't care about it. What I really want from the Nuverkin thing is the orange title. And I know it sounds dumb to say, like, you're going to spend 40 billion for a title. But, like, I'm literally at that point in the game where what I want in this in this game costs so much silver. To the point where I'm going for rare, like, antiquity relic items like the compass. Um, I'm going to go for the archaeologist map at some point as well after the compass and then eventually the rich merchant ring when I think I actually have enough gear well I do but when I'm just not afraid to go to crypto resting thoughts again he's bugged that's oh, another bugged Hilton the best way to fix it someone has uh, taught me is uh is to go to your black spirit, like when those trespasser warnings appear and you kill it. It's going to your black spirit and it'll like they'll all stack up, which is really weird how that happens, but it's cool. So I've actually talked to some people 
and asked what the average is to get an Elton piece and with the changes where they have like more uh, spawns I think and the uh, two car Baltons now drop it as well as Elton's people say like two to three hundred hours yeah I'm at like 300 plus now <laughs> over the past like four months Maybe, like, maybe more, because I also grinded back in the day, obviously not as efficiently. But, uh... I have grinded here back in the day as well. And all I have to show for it are... Eight Vodkins. Yeah, in case you are wondering, this is actually the Marnie realm for it. Like, this would be the exact same thing. Okay, so I'll show you how to stack them. Someone actually taught me this, which I thought was really cool. I don't know how people find these things out in general. Okay, so like when it spawns, you know how they're going to be scattered. Like that. Just going to get Black Spirit. And they, and they all group up. It's cool, right? Sometimes it's not like all the way so what you have to do is just go into your black spirit again they line up also apparently trespasser ones could actually drop uh a compass piece and i thought that was cool i didn't know that i thought they were like different enemies well like they're the same but like they had a special id where they just don't drop the pieces but apparently people confirmed that they could, so that's good to know. Also, I saw a screenshot, like Afuaru's, they could drop compass pieces too here. I didn't know that, but I assume it's like dumb mega rare. I swear I play differently when, uh, like, my rotation feels so much different when I'm grinding lower end spots because I don't need a full combo. And so I just push different buttons. Not really a good habit, I don't think. Is my buff rate 259? Ugh, that's not good. Like realistically, right now with the XP buff going on, all these things, I should be literally doing anything else besides grinding Histria. I just want that Elton piece. I know I could do the river rotation, but that one's just like, there's more Eltons, but you don't really get too much in terms of silver because you're doing hard focusing on certain things. And honestly, Histria, the money isn't that bad. Like obviously if you can grind higher end spots, those are obviously more. But overall, I don't think uh, Histria is that bad. You do have to sell, it's not, it's not a lot of trash loot, but you get a lot of, uh, Capris and scrolls, so if you run those, um, it honestly adds up to a, quite a bit of silver. However, the day I get the Elton piece, I don't think I'll ever be here again. Because, uh, going out into the desert every day, it's like, I don't want to spend five minutes getting to my grind location when I could just spend a minute doing it.
All right, game. If you give me an Elton piece this hour, I'll buy that like $120 pearl bundle that's on sale right now. It has to be an Elton one. No one, another ninth vodka. But yeah, what have you guys been doing up lately? You guys enjoying the Megu that came out? I heard it was uh, really good. And especially at high end grind spots, pretty solid. Unfortunately, it's like every time I want to play a new class, I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. I want to play it, but then I have gear to make for a gain on my main, so I'm like, eh, I'll get to it eventually. But maybe when there's a tag event again, I get to try everything. I feel like I'm grinding a lot slower than usual. I don't know why. It just feels like everything is going slower. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to mention for that code above. It's uh, valid until January 25, so redeem it, collect the rewards before then. And good luck for any en enhances you guys do. I do have a question. What did you guys spend your Jay's hammer when Megu came out on? Did you get your black star? Did you fail it? You uh, lose minus 30 durability. <laughs> you guys didn't see what I did. We do we did uh, nine attempts on our Labresca helmet. And well, actually a lot more than nine, because if we count like ever since I started looking for it, I honestly think I like broke even in terms of how much it costs. Like the Labresca is what, 180 billion? And in terms of like the total cost of like the item at try plus the 245 stack plus all the enhancement material costs and everything, I think I like broke even. So it's not like, yeah, I'm happy it's there, but not like I saved much money, if any. The only reason why I made it myself is because my name's already on it. <laughs> Weird thing. I used to care a lot. I don't know about you guys, but when you have pen items, you know how it comes with your name on it? I used to care about mine. Nowadays, I really don't. What matters is me being able to actually do the new spot or region. But speaking of, this year, I think they said quarter one. Uh, something first morning light and the new region that's coming out. And you know how they said there's no grind spots there, but it's going to be like bosses and new mechanics or like the new boss or how, how do I describe it? Like, I know how to, what it is. Um, it's a region that has instead of grind spots, mechanical bosses, like not like mechanical, but bosses with mechanics and like trials and raids and other games is what they would be uh world bosses i guess you can say so something like that but that's the entire region and you're gonna have to be doing those for like the flame of whatever and to get the gloves which i really hope that like 
they're not dumb because historically every time they come out with a new region the only reason why you're in that region is to get that one item and then after that there's no re no reason to ever be there again which is really sad because i really enjoyed the mountain of eternal winter and i thought it was cool but like this one's gonna be behind port rat and there's no point in bringing all 17 characters out there and then one other thing which is kind of another reason why people don't move is because everyone already has like probably maxed out storage inventory in like your belly or heidel storage already so it's like okay new region comes out now you have to buy all of it again so that's another reason why people don't do it Also pray that in an hour we have a blood spawn maneuver because I I need about a hundred. Okay, so you need two hundred and ten of those eye things and twenty one thousand um, black stones each of them for each piece, right? We already have one for our armor piece. All we have to do is spend a fifteen billion and then go convert it, which that's a lot of silver actually when you think about it. Fifteen billion for an armor piece. Something sounds different. I don't know why. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like... My headset dying. Feels like my headset's dying, to be honest. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hold on, I'll turn it on in a second. This start happening, too. That's weird. I don't know. I'm going to have to listen to the audio later again. My headset's dying. That's not good. Also, what happened to the price of Congrats? They like went mega down. You guys remember when they had that uh, thing for the one AP and you needed to turn in like a Tongrad accessory? And uh, all the Tongrads were like 200 mil each. Dude, I dumped so many of them and made so much silver off of that. That was a few months ago, actually. But yeah, that's how long I've been grinding history. Uh, I would say about have about 400 hours total or 400 hours within the past like six months, probably. Yup. Also, what happened to red shards? Why are they so expensive? Like, 
Remember when red shards used to sit at minimum price for a long time? And now they're like 20 mil each. What happened? Should I be keeping them? I'm just concerned. Yeah, like what happened? <laughs> Why are these so expensive? Still doesn't really make history a good, it's just. Huh. It must be like something new that I just don't know about. I hope they, uh, I've actually had a conversation with, uh, some people about this earlier and people are saying they should have a pity system. So, you know, like for example, the infinite potions, right? Have a pity system where you just collect a hundred, you get the piece, right? People are asking for that for like rare items, like the compass and the archeologist map. And I feel like. They should have a system so if you get a hundred pity pieces right you know how a lot of people are going for it i guess for the compass like the item itself but a lot of people want the title and especially because rare items are contested with titles and that title is gold right the polaris and the archaeologist one i think if you get all three pieces as a straight drop you should be able to still get the gold title and if they do a pity system like you'll get a blue blue title and i get that people are like oh i worked hard for mine and they don't want they like i guess don't want other people to get it without earning it as much i never really saw the point of that because i'm like if your item is rare that's cool but you know what happens if people are so mad and then they just quit the game if the game is dead then guess what? Your item is worthless kind of thing. But no, I, I trust me, I get it. And um, I just think they should have a, two systems for it. So I kind of hate how um, they took out the gold title for the infinite potions, but like they'll give you a blue one, right? And I think they should have just kept two systems. So like if you get all the ancient pieces, right? Then you should still get the gold title. But if you use any cities pieces, then you get the blue one. Like, that just makes sense. The item is still the same. But the title itself is rare. That, I like, I actually think in video games, titles are, like, worth a lot. Like, not value any, but, like, if, something you could actually show off to people. Whereas, guess what? No one can see your infinite potion. So, that's kind of, like my argument about that. But then at the same time, I also see people's arguments like the unlike ocean pieces, the compass and map aren't as like necessary. Whereas like an infinite health potion, I would say is very valuable because even though it doesn't have a specific like number value to it, grinding high end spots with the infinite health potion at very minimum is worth a lot. It's because you never have to buy potions again. Just the thought of it, quality of life, pretty good. So yeah, I would recommend anyone. The infinite potions are probably the easiest thing to get. Well, not easy, but like time consuming, but of the rare items, treasures that is one thing like i would say new not newish but like mid tier players to go for first once you're at that point 
As for the infinite mana potion, I think it's less relevant, but like even for some classes like Dark Knight, you guys remember back in the day, Dark Knights were used to have uh, a lot of mana issues, so you would always carry a lot of them. And nowadays you don't really like, I still think if I were to start over, obviously Awakening DK uses more mana potions than uh, Succession. But I just think that you don't really, you don't need it. It's just a nice thing to have. Also, for anyone looking to grind Histria, just know that if you're here, you're here for the compass piece. Money is like, it's not bad, but you're kind of going out of your way to grind here. And you can just go anywhere else with relatively the same AP. Like I would say, arguably, Centaurs is actually more silver than this place and lower requirement. Can't wait to see that uh, Elton Compass piece show up one day, right, game? Some days history on is very relaxing because, like, I don't have to pay attention that much. I could just, like, watch a stream normally or, like, watch a video, and this is one of those grinding things as well. I don't really need too many buttons to kill them. And the risk of me dying here is very low. Like I would have to just straight up AFK and I would have to take more damage than my potion seal. I guess what people want to know here what drops what and in my experience the two car ball moles which is the little like roly-poly looking ones they have a higher chance of dropping like the shards like the red and black one whereas the straight up eltons and two car like the standing ones have a higher chance of dropping the necklaces and uh the black shards but like they all drop technically from like the same thing so it doesn't really matter but just in my experience you're you'll get more shards from the roly bullies and straight drops and black shards from the standing ones that's just about like hundreds of hours here of things i've noticed I think what I'm gonna do is save up 5 billion and try to go for a strike crystal again. And uh, by that, I mean put an order in and hope I get it. Well, no fun fact. From Capra's Zero on my Nuver, we went to Capra's Five so far just by grinding 
and I didn't buy any of them. Just from places I've grinded, whatever capras they give me goes directly into 10 Nuver capras, and it got me five of them. Five levels. Probably like, but, uh, maybe one over a little 2,000 something capras is kind of a lot of money when you think of it. Thousand capris is three bill. I don't know why, but I have like a strange feeling that by the time I get my Elton piece, I'm gonna have like. 20 vodkins. <laughs> feels so, feels bad. I think I average like uh, 40 to 50 Capris an hour and maybe like mid 40 scrolls. It's not bad. And I would definitely say if you're grinding here and you're thinking, should I sell the scrolls or run it? It's always worth running it. It's just whether you want to spend the time. Because, uh, like, yeah, people will be like, oh, you could just grind another hour and make more silver than running it. But at the same time, guess what? If you grind the same place for hundreds of hours, it's what the last thing you want to do is grind more at the same spot for hundreds of hours. I gotta like change things up every now and then. I think I'm doing pretty, like, I'm going really slow today for grinding. I'm just having a very casual day. So, yeah, I don't think the loot is going to be that high. My highest is, like, 22k in one hour. I think today is looking like maybe... Uh... Oh, 19k. That lag. Even after I get my Elton piece, I still have to do Achman, which I heard actually wasn't that bad. Like, you kill a lot of enemies there, like the density is very high there. So I'm, I'm not worried about the Achman piece. I'm just going for arguably the hardest one. Actually, I haven't grinded Achman in like probably four years. So, 
Anyone who's grinded there recently? How much silver do you make an hour? Because I know they buff trash loot and... Uh, I don't know. Is it how much you get as well? Like, trash loot plus the trash value. compass piece feels bad in this rotation i know where like all the important ones are if i see a compass and it's like not in one i'm just i actually get so disappointed I'm like why couldn't it just have been one pull later second. So far, I would say this is, I don't know. I got one necklace, so the average hour is okay. Also, I do have enough Tron stones to do another click on my uh, Fallen God. And for all of you who haven't watched it already, when we did our clicks, we got one Tet, and this one is still at try. So, one more piece to go. We'll be using it on our 245 stack. Our Fallen God armor is actually cursed. We've done a lot of clicks on it. Still hasn't gone. Labresca actually was not that bad. <laughs> I think we had... No, we... it's not bad. We had average luck. However, if I keep, if I fail like another five more on the Fallen God, we are not breaking even. But, you know, the price you pay for wanting your own name on an item. Man, that I, I stopped for a second and then that was an Elton pack and I was like, mm, yeah, the Elton dropped necklace, but I don't want that. Like, I'm not upset that I got a free hundred mil like that, but at the same time, I'm kind of upset that it dropped and I cheered for something I didn't want.
your game, if you have a system where I could exchange, like, I don't know, a hundred million trash loot for an Elton piece, we would be grinding here, like, five hours a day. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious why red shards are uh, so expensive. I guess it's because of the event, I'd like to think where 500% XP is out and everyone's just literally grinding anywhere but here. I am like the one dumb person grinding in one of the worst places for XP during an XP event. However, I will say that I, uh, I did grind Gaifin this month quite a bit, and I think I got, like, from 64 to 65, I got from, like, 90%. No, actually, no, like, I got from, like, 85% level 64 to, well, getting, hitting level 65 in two days. Like, I did some hard pushes at underground Gaifin with full buffs and everything. That was kind of a. Uh, I think I was getting about maybe like 1.4 to 2 percent an hour, depending on what scrolls I use. If I used a 600 percent, it was uh, about 2 percent, and depending on if there were like bells going on the channel, that added a little bit. But as for 65 to 66. I better enjoy it because this is the last level before, like, the pain begins. 66 to 67, literally only, like, one person on NA that, or, yeah, one person that has it. And they spent longer than most people even play the game for. And I don't even think it was that one person, like, they definitely had help. So, yeah, I guess you could say soft cap. Ooh, 20 mil. Soft cap is uh, 66 right now. But realistically, in terms of levels, for if you're like a new player watching this and you're wondering like, oh my god, this is a grind. Like after, honestly, 60 is where you get all your like relevant stuff, like all the skills. 62 is when you get a passive. And it's just like what, like, show you every class has it. It's like this thingy, special attack or something, whatever your class gives. You get that at 62. And after 62, there's literally no point going past it unless you really like your character. Sixteen minutes left. Ugh. Trash loot was definitely a lot lower this hour because I was just chilling. I 
I just hope in the future, I don't think it's like going to be in 2023, but if they come out with new grind spots, make some like comfy lower tier spots that are still decent. I would say Histria is a good example. Um, what are some other chill grind spots that end game players would still enjoy? Uh, Pirate Island used to be pretty fun nowadays, ever since the change. It's like all the cool spots like Sakraya and everything, they're not bad. It's just you kind of have to go out of your way to get here and you don't like you don't find this accidentally most of the time. Well, history you do underwater Sakraya, you do not find that accidentally. Okay, we got 15 or 16 minutes till Nuber. So in a minute, we're going to get a notification for Zarka and Nuber in about one minute. Then I guess we'll just keep grinding. It's going to be a little over another over an hour, but we'll just keep grinding to see whether it's a blood spawn or not. That's the only thing that matters. Every time I grind here, the only thing that matters to me is can I make a little bit of a profit from using our dumb 50 mil tent buff? And the answer is usually yes. Well, actually, 100% yes, but it sometimes it just feels bad using it, knowing that I think it's been data mined that the chance of you getting a like compass piece Here's point like point zero 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 five or something really low. And even if you use the um tent buff fifty percent, it's barely better. <laughs> but that's why you still have to do it. Cause you do still get a lot of other things on the side, like cap more capra stones, um, more scrolls and everything, so it's very worth it using 50% here. Alright, boys. We'll grind for another 15 until... Until a boss spawns and then figure out what we want to do. If it's another normal Nuver for like the ninth time in a row... I'm just gonna... Uh, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to know what my hard cap for skill points is because I know like it's 3,000 plus quests you've done on that character because some people have like 3,300 cap some people have like 3,100 Depend it really just depends what you've done Though, at, I'm going to be honest, like, after 1,200, it's kind of irrelevant. Everything else just gives you, uh, skill point weight, and, uh, you just put it into, like, whatever for PvP. Which I think is a dumb thing that you have to, like, buy it, use their seals for.
Because, like, they're, what they're trying to do is equalize PvP, like Node Wars and Sieges, for the most part. Which I think is a good thing, overall. However, these dumb passives that you have to get at the bottom, literally an advantage. So I don't I don't understand what their, their goal is. You want to give people gear caps, but then you want to give people advantages. All right, weird. We've gotten 52 Capris and about five rows of scrolls. So 40 scrolls, 50 Capris. Not bad. I'm actually starting to pile up on uh, scrolls again. And I can't say I want to <laughs> run them. I've been super lazy lately. Just don't want to run them. remember every i've gotten two bodkin pieces from this exact hole and then the first one was exciting the second one wasn't been debated eight times here with the bodkin Rumors say you can get a compass piece from an Afuaru. I've seen a screenshot, but I don't believe it. Oh, another tower, another chance. Bless. Another tower. Double bless. I think the chance of that happening is like on the same level as getting an Elton piece. Seven minutes till uh, 
Noob responds. We'll see if it's blood spawn. If it is, we're going to it 100%. It's not, we're going to sleep. Yeah, we have five minutes left. If I, uh, I think I could get like 19k trash loot. That's what I predicted. A little bit worse than my usual hour. Playing, uh, casual. Today be the day. We got five minutes. You know, it'd be a really nice thing. A trade up system. Like, you could trade Bodkin pieces for Elton's. Obviously, it wouldn't be one to one, or it's like everyone would have a compass. But I don't know, maybe like 10, 15 of them to one. I feel like if you get 15 Bodkin pieces, you've earned an Elton one. <laughs> I think on average it takes me about like maybe 30 to 40 hours or 30 to 50 I would say per piece granted they've all been the same one but per vodkin I would say and then obviously it'd be like 400 plus for Elton but yeah I don't think there should be like a pity system well, I mean, it, it would the same thing, but a trade-up system that is easier. Like, you still have to grind a lot. Just, uh, oddkins for an Elton. Oh boy, a third. Oh, that one's from, uh... Alton. That's basically the same thing as an Elton. It's bait twice a day. Twice in an hour. Was oh, that another one? With them sold. We'll calculate an hour before we head off to Nuber. So, I guess like at 120 mil, we'll count this with uh, before taxes. So, we made 360 mil off of. Congrad next alone. 20,000 trash loot is 300. So that's like choppy. Nice. So that's like 670 mil. 
And then 65 Capris is another 80. That's like over 800 mil. And then that one red shard is 20, so it's like 820. And then we got uh, tons of scrolls. Basically, we probably made about a bill an hour, which is very lucky here. My average, I would say, is probably like five to six hundred mil an hour here. But it's not really about the money. It's the, can we get a compass piece? Huh. All right, Nuver spawns in two minutes, so might as well just chill out here and wait to see what happens. Ooh, I feel the fear speed like dropping. Okay, so basically 20k trash loot is what we got. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six and three. Uh, six time, uh, yeah, like 51 scrolls. So 51 times two, 110, we run them a lot more. Yeah, I would say about a billion an hour here. Maybe like 900 to a billion. Pretty good. Buy another costume and then fail another attempt. All of January, I've been buying costumes. Well, like, not my money, someone else's money. <laughs> I pay in silver. And then... Basically, all we've been doing is Tron tapping our armor and helmet and hoping for the best. Oh my god, all right. That wasn't even... Blood spawn. Another regular Noover. I hate this game. I'm never gonna get my Noover outfit. The game gives me, like, literally everything but Blood spawn Noovers. All right, well, that's it for me. Uh, after this pack, I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna go run to bosses and go to sleep. So, see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.